Hi everyone, welcome to another book review. The book that I'm featuring today is Sketch Now, Think Later. Jump into urban sketching with limited time, tools and techniques. The artist and author is Mike Yoshiaki Daikubara, or he's also known as Mike Daikubara or Mike D. It seems like this book is associated with urban sketches. They have this sticker here, celebrating 10 years of urban sketches. This book is published in the same format as the other Urban Sketcher or Urban Sketching Handbook series. So these are the ones that I have and I have featured them on my YouTube channel as well as on my blog before. So it's the same format. Mike Daikubara also has published several other sketchbooks, some of which I have bought a few years ago. So um, these are some of them. They are actually travelogue sketchbooks. This is on Boston, Machu Picchu, O San Juan, San Juan, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. He also has another book that is about hotel sketches where he sketches the rooms inside hotels. Alright, let's take a look at this book, Sketch Now, Think Later. So this is sort of a beginner's guide to urban sketching. It has a lot of um, tips very brief tips it's written mostly for beginners so if you are someone who has just started to um, sketch who has just started to learn how to draw and you want to maybe go outdoors for drawing then this is perhaps the book that uh, can give you some tips and techniques on how you can uh, bring your sketching skills how you can use them outdoors so for example here we have some suggestion of tools that you can use outdoors like portable brushes, portable palettes, what kind of bag uh, is recommended or what kind of bag is used by Mike, Mike D. This chapter is on line techniques. So all the tips are quite brief. They are almost in a bullet form. They almost all in bullet form and also we have a lot of captions as well pointing to the examples that were drawn by Mike D. This is a rather um, small book as you can tell. It's about the size of my palm. The watercolor artworks, they are really nice. I like the style. I also like the colors. They are very loose and lively. These are some coloring tips on how you can mix colors. This book is an enjoyable read for me. I really like the immediacy of sketching on location. And it's really cool to see Mike's artwork and the world through his eyes here he visited the zoo if I'm not wrong these are some of the stems that he uses to um, chop on his sketches for example he has a stem for the date and also one with his name on it these are some of the travel tips there are only a few pages of travel tips, but most of the other tips are actually uh, more general urban sketching tips. Sketching approaches, safety. These are the five main tools that he carries along, the sketchbook, watercolor palette, pen, water brush, and this um, mister or something that can spray water mist on his sketchbook. And these are additional pens and brushes and other accessories that he has but may not bring along depending on the situation. This book has 112 pages. And that's all for my book review today. I really enjoy going through this book. I can see that the techniques and the tips, they are actually not very different from some of the 
tips and techniques featured in these books but I always enjoy looking at um, the techniques as used by other artists and also I really love looking at the beautiful artworks of other artists because uh, even with the same techniques different artists they will draw in different style and that's what makes art really interesting right so if you are interested in getting yourself a copy of the book you can check out the links in the video description below there are links to Amazon and book depository and if you buy through those links I actually earn some commission like maybe five percent that's like five cents to a dollar when you get a book like this so it will help me get more books in the future to review on my channel and also on my website thanks for watching see you in the next video. Bye!